Hey guys, Rob Riv. Um, this next video is on how I make 135th scale photo etch two clamps. Um, it's a method that I've done for many years and it really works well for me. Um, there's only a few supplies that you're going to need to do these two clamps. Um, one is you're going to need some CA glue, it doesn't matter what kind. Um, you're also going to need a flat nose plier, um, also some zip kicker if needed, um, as well as most importantly some masking tape. Um, if you had any apprehension of making two clamps in the past, I truly believe that after watching this video, you'll be making two clamps by the bag full. I also believe that Photo Etch really adds to your model, as you can see here in some models that I've built in the past, the difference Photo Etch makes. Um, so please, um, if you like this video, give it a like. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it really is going to help me um, grow a little bit. Um, all the details are in the description, um, and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. Okay, first off, you're going to lay down your uh, your masking tape on whatever cutting mat you're going to be using. Um, here, um, the Aber set that we're using for this is a 35893, and I'm using a Fresh Exacto blade to cut um, whatever clamps I'm going to be using um, for the project on the masking tape. This way, you avoid um, your parts flying away. Most of us, when we cut photo whites, a lot of times you're cutting them, and you're spending more time looking for the part than you are using the part. So this is where the masking tape really comes in handy. Um, it's also going to make uh, a big benefit later when we're, we're folding and uh, making the tool clamps. Um, we move, remove the fret and uh, there's your parts. So from there we're going to start bending the lower part of um, the photo etch. Now with the parts cut off the fret and sanded, um, we need to bend the lower part of the bracket. In this case, the bracket that is going to be shaped like the U shape. You can see it here in the picture. Um, there's two ends of the bracket that attach to the upper part of the bracket that fold over the tool. So what we need to do is we need to use a flat nose plier and what we're going to do, we're going to bend it backwards. And the easiest way to do that is, is to grab it at the end as close as possible um, to the edge and then we're going to lean it on the table and bend it backwards um, using some pressure. And then you'll see here um, that the bracket is now um, bent backwards um, and ready to accept that upper part of the tool clamp. So after that's bent like that, we're going to then bend it up and there's already indentions in the photo etch to make these folds. This is pretty easy right here. Um, and then you're going to fold the front part up and it's going to make the U-shape of the bracket. Now the other two brackets are now also bent and ready to start assembling the two clamp. So first what we need to do is we need to take the, the CA, in this case it's VMS Flexi 5K Black. Um, I use the black so it's easy to see in the video. You can use any CA. Um, any CA will be fine for, um, to do these two clamps. And also Zip Kicker, which helps um, the CA dry quicker um, and allow us to bend the, the photo whites a lot faster. So after we have those all um, put out, um, we're going to take our top part of our clamp and we're going to put it over the bottom bracket like so, bending it down. Um, then we're going to take the clasp part of the bracket with the two holes. Um, we're going to take the black CA and then we're going to apply it to the holes of the clasp and then we're going to apply it to the clamp itself, aligning it to the two holes on the side. We're going to set it, hold it in place for a few seconds make sure it's in place. Once we know it's in place, we'll carefully remove our finger that's stuck to the tape um, and we will go to the zip kicker and we'll apply a slight small drop to the clasp to ensure that it dries pretty fast. After that is done, we'll put that to the side and we'll take another clamp and do the same thing. Now with the second clamp, we're going to do the same process that we did with the first. We'll take the top of the clamp, bend it over, hold it in place with the tweezer. Um, we're going to take the clasp and the black CA over the two um, attaching holes. We're going to take that and apply it to the clamp and hold it in place to set it. And in this case, it wasn't setting properly. So I think I needed a little bit more CA. So after holding in place for a second, I took a little more CA and then again applied it directly on top of the clasp. Hold it in place. 
and then taking some zip kicker and applying it to the CA and you pretty much get an instant bond and we'll take that clasp and we'll put it and set it aside. Now we take the third clamp and start the process again. Now with the third clamp, the same thing goes, bending the top part over, getting it aligned up, taking the clasp, applying the CA to the holes, making sure it's all spread out, and then applying it to the clamp. Once I know that there's a bond, um, I will then um, remove my finger and hold the clamp in place with the tweezer. Take some zip kicker and apply it to the clamp. Now with the three clamps already made, um, what we need to do is we need to do the clasps. And now this is the tricky part because what we need to do is we need to fold the clasps into a U-shape. Um, and there's already indentions and folds into the photo etch. So what we need to do is we need to fold them over and down and attach it to the other side of the clasp. So what we need to do now is hold it with our tweezers and our fingers. Now this was very difficult to film because of the size of these clamps. So hopefully you're able to see well. But we fold it over. Then we put the clamp down on the tape. We'll grab it again. And then we'll fold it down so we can meet the other end, the other side of the clamp. Now this process of attaching the clasp is what really gives a lot of people a hard time when it comes to making photo etch two clamps. Because a lot of people will try to make the clasp first and try to put it on both sides at the same time and they can never get it done. That's why you attach it to one side, allow it to dry, and it allows you to manipulate the clasp and bring it around and attach to the other side. So that's what we did here. By having it dried on one side, it allowed us to bend the clasp around and attach it to the other side with no problem. So once it's attached, we put it on the, 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 the masking tape, we bend it down, and it's on to the next clasp. Now with this clasp done, we're going to start the process all over again um, with the second clasp. Um, and again, we're going to bend it and manipulate it um, the same way we did the first. Um, we're going to bend it over. We are going to grab it with the tweezer. We're going to bend it down. And then we're going to attach this other side to the clamp and then secure it on the masking tape. And this is why the masking tape is very important because it allows you to manipulate the, the tool clamp um, and allows you like a third hand in a lot of ways. Um, and now you see, like that, boom, it's done. Now we go to the third clamp, same thing. We're going to manipulate it. We're going to bend it over. We are going to bend it down and it's going to go right to those holes using the masking tape to allow us to manipulate it and hold it. And the clamp is done. We bend it down and all three clamps are finished. Um, again, um, it's probably longer with the drawing time for the CA than it is to actually make these tool clamps. So for a little extra security on the tool clamp, what I'll do is I'll usually um, put a little dab of um, super glue on the other side of the tool clamp just to give it a little more strength. Um, so we'll put them on their side. We will give them a drop of CA on each just to give it a little more strength. A little dab of zip kicker to give it a little instant bond and we are done. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. As you can see making these two clamps is not as difficult um, as it may seem, um, you know, just follow this method and I think that you'll be banging out two clamps uh, like myself in no time. Before you know it, you'll have a big bag to the side and ready to go whenever you need them. So thanks guys for watching the video. Um, if you like it, give it a like. If uh, you can, subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video.